All right, they're just eight days old. They're already turning heads at Honolulu Harbor. So what are they? KITV4's Catherine Cruz tells us. It's a first. Windmills on a dry dock in Honolulu's harbor. It's a half a million dollar investment that military contractor Navitech hopes will cut its electrical cost by half, thanks in part to these narrow plasma coated strips. It's been tested in the lab in a, in a wind, wind tunnel on wings, uh, short wings. This is the first time it's been tested on a, on a full scale wind turbine. Fine says the plasma works to control the flow around the surface of the blade to lower the drag and improve the lift. So the more lift you get on the blade, then the more power you can generate. Fine says Honolulu Harbor is actually an ideal place to test out the wind turbines because winds blow here at about 20 miles an hour. And the turbines are actually a lot smaller than a lot of the cranes in this area, so they didn't require any special state harbor permits. We can prove it at this scale, then we can scale it up to the industrial size, you know, one and a half megawatt to five megawatt, maybe even to the, the super big ones that uh, are looking at seven and a half megawatt. That's the goal, is to be able to, to improve the efficiency for these kinds of uh, industrial scale turbines. The 100-foot towers get extra lifts since they're hydraulically detached on 30-foot walls to get up into the airstream. They're designed to start spinning at 12 to 13 miles per hour and, unlike other turbines, are actively controlled and can respond to changes in wind at any time. In Honolulu Harbor, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.